Hey everyone, it's your girl, Nunu the Hair Diva, and I'm back with you with the 52-week money challenge. Now, y'all gonna have to forgive me because, you know, Nunu is working, and I am, I believe, uh, two, maybe three weeks behind, so... Whatever dates you see in the title below, that is the weeks that we are doing. And I think it is weeks uh, 9 and 10, maybe 11. Who knows? All right. So, to all of my new positive supporters who are watching this video for the first time, let me quickly explain to you what the 52-week money challenge is. What it is, is you are saving your money for the year. If you are in the first month, which we're not, but let's say we are, for that first week, you want to put away $1 for the first week. The second week, you want to put away $2. The third week, $3, so on and so forth. By the time you get to June, the last week of June, which would be the first 26 weeks, you will actually be putting away $26. Okay. This paper here, and y'all have to forgive me, I'm doing this off of my phone, so I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but I will do better editing before I post it. This paper here is the 52-week money challenge guide. If you don't have this, you can Bing it or Google it, and it will pull up, and you can just print out multiple sheets, and this will help you. Uh, decide on how much money you are saving, want to save, and where you are in your saving process. As you can see here, here's your first week, $1, $1 balance. If you do it from the top to the bottom, you will notice here that at the end of the last week of June, which is the 26th week, you will be putting away $26, and you should have three hundred fifty one dollars total okay so that is the gist of the 52 week money challenge there are many people doing this challenge and everyone has their own way that they like to do it some are starting from the end of the year and working their way up because you know you're putting away more money some are playing bingo with this challenge and they are picking different amounts of money to put away some are just doubling up and i myself and a few others are starting from week one and going all the way to week 52. all right so now to bring you up to par on where we are the last time i did this video i believe i had put away six hundred dollars my total balance if i'm not mistaken was about seven hundred and thirty dollars and this goes into a account which is called a christmas account that i cannot uh do any withdrawals from so that helps me to know that i am saving it i can't use it i am paying myself first by all means i am putting money away in other accounts that i can use but I want to challenge myself to go through the whole year without having to touch this money. And, you know, the world is changing and you don't want to leave yourself without having emergency funds if it is needed. All right. So just a little hint to help with some people. If this is your first time trying to do this. My suggestion would be to not spend any loose change. You can always put the loose change away, separate it if you want. I like to separate my pennies uh, from my quarters, and I keep my dimes and nickels together as well. Um, I also like to not spend dollar bills and occasionally $5 bills. So these little cards or envelopes that you see here, you can get these type of envelopes from your local bank. You don't have to use these. You can use anything that helps you out to save your money. 
this I have marked as a $1 bill, and this I have marked as $5, and that is because when I'm out and about and I end up spending like maybe a $10 bill or a $20 bill, and I get changed back, if I want to start to save anything, I put the loose change in a, a little wallet that I have for the loose change. I put dollar bills in here, five dollar bills in here, and this lets me know that I am putting money away for my Christmas account. Okay, so before we get into these, let's go into what I have already deposited. Now, I had two deposits for this month, and um, more than likely, I will have another deposit. So, the very first one that I have here, as you can see, it is going to be for March 2nd. I have a coin redemption, and that was for $14. And then I had a basic deposit of a hundred and thirty dollars and twenty cents now I know this may be to some people showing too much however it's in the bank there's no way you're gonna get it unless you rob the bank <laughs> but I just wanted you to see that I am saving my money and not spending it on anything that I don't absolutely need so this is one deposit that I have made. Then I made another deposit. And the dates on this is March 9th. And I have two separate deposits of $25 a piece. Which is $50 total. So I added that up and that came up to $194. So for me on this paper, I will add that 194 to the amount that I already have saved in my Christmas account. And I will just mark off my blue dots that you see here to let me know where I am already. The green dots, if you can see that, the green dots here lets me know what week I am actually on. And this lets me know that I didn't talk about weeks 9 and 10, and possibly 11. <laughs> so, you know, I want to stay in order for those of you that want to start from top to bottom. But I am not telling anyone to try to put all of their money away. Put away what you can afford so that you can use it when you need it. As for me, I don't want to be able to touch it. So I do have other accounts that I have money that I can go to. But this is just me to personally see how much I can save within this entire year. Okay, so now we're going to get to these two envelopes before this video gets too long. This first envelope has $5 on there. And I'm going to take the amount out and we're going to count that up. And what I see here is $20. And the envelope is empty. So we have $20 out of the $5 envelope so far. Now we're going to do the dollar envelope. And like I said, you can save it any type of way before you deposit it that makes you feel comfortable. So the envelope is empty. Here are the singles. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all together we have $29. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and hold off and not actually deposit this money until Tuesday the 31st. That is the very last day of this month. Today is March 15th and we have $29 that we are working with. Over here behind me, I do have uh, coins that I have in jars, but not enough that I feel comfortable with depositing as of yet, but I do have these singles. So I just wanted to come in and say congratulations and well done to everyone 
who is taking the time out to save their money, who husbands and wives have decided that this is a good thing to do. Um, if you need to use your money, by all means, use it. That is the whole purpose of saving it. If not, then just keep challenging yourself to see how far you can get. All right, to all be blessed. Thank you so much. I keep, <laughs> y'all have to excuse me. I'm nervous. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. To all be blessed. Save your money, wear your makeup, and Nuna will see you in a few days with the next video. Bye.